Hi, let's have a look how we can use custom number formatting. Okay, so in here you have this number formatting, then you can use different things, but I'm gonna go on to the major expression. So in major expression, what you can do is you can customize things like this. You know, this is one. Uh, but before that, let's start with the need that, why I, why I would need that, okay? And uh, why there are different, what are the different ways, okay? So I have this transaction, this is in sales amount, okay? But the problem here is that you see these are transaction and these are transaction. If they are in single currency, I can simply use money here and I can have all that in USD. But what if the, all these transactions are in different currencies? For example, in this matter, if I add a transaction currency, actually, it gives me a very different picture. So how I can dynamically change this for all every row, okay? So there is very easy way. So what we need to do is we need to use major expression. Okay. So, but before using the major expression, we need to add that in here. So uh, I have added that in here. So I'm just, just, just a sample one. I'm going to add that later again, just to give you some clarity. So let's just add simple sum of sales amount. And I'm going to say number format. So by major expression, I mean the number formatting, which is highlighted in the expression itself. Okay. So, that is very understood. I can do that easily. Okay, here you go. Here we go. Okay. So now that works. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I need to add my expression. Okay. So that works. That's fine. Everyone understand that. That's very easy. But what if I need to add more? Okay. You, I need to add that transaction currency as well. Okay. So what I can do is I can add transaction currency here and I can add concatenation if it is a single value it will show up here okay that's very easy and if I want to add some space I can add some space okay so you see uh, every transaction and if you have in your data you can add the transaction currency symbol as well to have that uh, thing more uh, easy so that's very easy and in this way you can add any symbol uh, associated with that particular value or it's just not limited to a column. You can use a formula or you can use a variable. For example, in this one, I have sales edit net sales amount is greater than 50,000. There's, there's a heart and the otherwise, you know, uh, um, a sad picture. So if I apply that, now I can see, you know, I can, based on that, you know, how the transactions are happening, I can see that, okay? So that's it for today. Thank you very much.